All right, uh, welcome. We're going to be modeling the St. Louis Gateway Arch today. Um, we're going to. This is our basic startup file. We're going to press X and then delete, and then I'm going to turn on my screencasting keys here, uh, and then Shift A to add a new mesh. And then we'll go over here and choose Torus, and in our toolbar here. We're going to reduce the minor segments to four. Uh, the arch is flat around the outside and um, has a triangle cross section. So, and we're also going to double the major segments to 96. It's going to take uh, a little bit longer to create, but it will have um, better detail in the end. Uh, so now we're going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode, A to deselect, and then I'm going to hold Alt and click on one of these edges and. Holding Alt allows us to select all the way around. I'll press S, X for Delete and then choose Dissolve Edges. And this creates the flat outer that we want. Uh, now we're going to select the whole thing. Press R for Rotate and X to constrain to the X axis and then 90 uh, degrees and then Enter. Now we'll look, press 1 for Front View and we can deselect and Z or wireframe, and then I'm going to press 5 to go into uh, orthogonal view. And the arch is the same height as it is wide, so our arch is about two of these big squares uh, wide, and we want to make it too tall as well. Um, we can start by deleting these bottom vertices. Uh, so press B for box select, and then click and drag over the vertices, and then X to delete, and then click on the vertices here. Um, so now we'll um, select our remaining vertices. We just want to change the height, so we'll um, press uh, S for scale, and then Z to constrain to the vertical direction. And let's see how we're doing now. If we raise it up to the floor here, it's about too wide and not quite too tall, so we'll continue to scale it in the Z direction. I'm going to check it again. It's a little bit too tall now, so we'll scale it. Uh, S for scale and then Z for the Z direction. Scale it down a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, Alright, so now we will... Um, basically the arch is supposed to get thinner as it goes towards the top from this angle and also from this angle. So that's what we're going to work on now. So I press 1 again for front view. We're going to start by just making it thinner overall. It's not this thick compared to its height. So I'm going to hold Alt again and right click on this edge to select all of these. And we'll press Scale and then X. And we'll pull it out a little bit until it's nice and narrow at the base and we'll adjust towards the top. That should work well. And now what we're going to do is move all of these vertices up, as especially as it goes higher up on the arch. So we'll start by holding Shift and then right click on these bottom two. And then we're going to left click on the blue arrow and just bring the vertices up until these bottom ones are lined up with the bottom ones here, so we have a straight line here. And then I'm going to hold Shift again and right click on these two. And now we're going to drag up all the vertices until this is horizontal with the outside vertice. So I'll click on the left, pull it up here. There we go. Now these are level. We can deselect them, follow this process, move these two up. This takes a little longer because we've got, we chose to increase the segments of our original torus. But it'll look better when we render it at the end. You may not need to keep doing this all the way to the top, but we'll generally follow this pattern.
So now we'll start reducing how much we're going up by. We'll go sort of an angle. going a little bit less and less now. And we'll just bring these up a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, so, still looks ridiculous from that angle, but it looks good uh, from this angle. So we'll press 3 to go to the side view, and we'll select the whole thing. We're just going to make the whole thing thinner before we make it taper up towards the top. So we'll press S for scale and then Y to scale it in the horizontal direction. Um, and we'll just shrink it like this. Um, the base is generally an e close, pretty close to an equilateral triangle, um, so it looks like it needs to go a little bit thinner. So press S and then Y again, and we'll scale it in until it looks more like an equilateral triangle. There we go. And then back to press 3 again, go back to our side view. Now what we're going to do is um, scale this in as it goes up towards the top. Um, so we're going to use uh, B for box select again. And we're going to click and drag over this whole section. And we're going to press S for scale and then Y to constrain it to the Y axis and then point 0.9. And we're going to keep following the same process, um, A to deselect all, so then B to box select. Now we'll select all of these bottom two that we just adjusted. And we'll press S for scale, Y, point 0.9, enter, like that. Oops, press the wrong button. Okay, B, box select, like this. If you can't remember where you are, just look for the last section that's straight still. Uh, you want to highlight all the way down to that section. S for scale, Y for Y axis, 0.9, A to deselect. So we'll keep going up like this. Maybe a faster way to do this, but I have not found it. I suppose you could box select each, just each vertice, set of vertices each time instead of the whole thing. Although, then you might lose your nice progression. It's looking like it's it's getting narrow a little bit faster than I'd like now, um, so I'm going to start scaling it just by 0.95. done here.
Okay, the last one, these last two here at the top. Scale Y, 0.95, okay. It's a little bit tedious, um, but now we have a Z to go back to solid mode. We have a nice looking arch here. And all we have to, left to do now is add some materials and a plane on the bottom. So I press tab to go out of um, edit mode. Um, one thing that you might want to experiment with is uh, flat versus smooth shading. Um, that's flat. This is smooth. Flat actually looks more realistic because the arch has panels. Um, so we'll add a plane at the bottom here for our ground just to give us something more interesting to look at. And then we'll come over here, click on our Material tab, uh, switch to Cycles Render, and then we'll add some kind of green grass material. And then for the arch, we're going to add, use a mix shader, cross between uh, glossy to give it some reflective uh, properties, and then diffuse. You know, the diffuse will make a little bit of gray. Uh, glossy looks fine. We can move it a little bit in the glossy direction. And we're also going to add one more mesh, Shift A, and another plane. And this one we're going to use as a light source. <coughs> so we'll bring it out over this way, maybe back a little bit. Um, and we're going to rotate it along the y-axis a little bit, and then press R for rotating the z-axis, and then we'll press S to scale it up a little bit, and then we'll add a material, for this one we'll add a material of emission, and we'll increase the strength up to 10, so it's going to emit light, and then we'll press 0 for camera view, and then move the scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit, and then press N for properties, select lock camera to view. Now uh, press N to make them disappear. Now we can move the camera around holding the middle mouse scroll wheel uh, until we get a view that we like. And then we can change it to rendered view here and see how our scene looks. Alright, so it looks, looks pretty good. Um, you can obviously mess around with the grass. There's some actual stone walkways in the actual St. Louis Gateway Arch, um, but we'll leave it at this and come up here and press the camera to go to render. Under sampling we can change it to maybe a hundred. should still render pretty quickly. And then we'll press, press render. got our finished arch. Looking pretty good. Um, you can definitely experiment with textures on the arch um, to try to give it more of a paneled look and obviously mess around with the ground or the grass to make it look a little more like grass. Uh, but here's a basic beginner tutorial. This is our basic mesh that you can then work with. Um, if you want to save the image, you can come down here and click on image, save as image, and then save it as a PNG or JPEG. Alright, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.